Welcome back to another video. My name is Chris. If you're new to the channel, I do a lot of camping. Over the plus 30 years that I have been doing consistent camping, I don't mean two or three times a year in the summer when the weather is perfect. I camp 20, 25, 30 times a year, all year round, including the winter. I've had comments from all around the world, people thanking me for the videos that I put out for, quote, we'll say, the beginner camper. So that's why we're here today. We're gonna take a look at a fire starter kit. I have a couple of these items already, but not as one bundled kit. So maybe for yourself, when you go out, you're camping, you're gonna get a fire started. Maybe something as simple as a lighter is good enough for you. Something like this, no name or Bic brand lighter. Maybe a Zippo lighter, right? Which I prefer, one, because it's refillable and it's more reliable, especially if it gets wet. And of course, my favorite lighter, a torch. All right, I'm just kidding. I do bring this from car camping now. Okay, so as you can see, we're sitting around our lovely fire pit at home. We spend a lot of time around here. We like having fires either at home or at the campground. We even do cook on here as well. The problem with a lighter is that eventually it's gonna run out. It's plastic, so you're just gonna to toss it. It's gonna to end up in the landfill anyways. And if it gets wet, this is what happens. Look at that. Drop it in here, little thing of water. Now, that's it. We're done. This could take hours for this to dry out and you might not have hours if it was an emergency. So now this is no good. So this will dry eventually, but we can't use it today. There's also the option of a Zippo lighter. The thing I like about the Zippo lighter is that you can refill it. And if I drop this in water, we're gonna test this right now. So that was just in the water, I'll show you there. Okay, that's dripping. Most times, if you're lucky, it's gonna light up again. Okay, so that's handy. I already have a few of the items from this kit, but I wanted to show you that you can get all of that in one bundle. This is a magnesium ferro rod. You can see on one side there, all of those lines, that's from the striker and what it does is can you see the sparks okay and that's what you're gonna do you're gonna use this and strike it towards your kindling and then hopefully one of those catches and your kindling will light it up we drop this in the water there you go drop that in the water look see the sparks okay still works you know, sometimes you're trying to get your fire going and you grab a bundle of newspaper or a piece of cardboard, the lid from your plastic bin, and you're waving it at the fire and you're trying to get it going, okay? One thing that comes with this kit is what is called a bellow. I used this one recently in one of my videos. This is just a piece of bamboo, right? It's hollowed out. And what you do is you direct that and when you get that streamline of that gust of air coming into the base of the fire, this can really help to get your fire going. But I'm not gonna put this in my pocket, okay? So this one's made by Zippo. This is the fire starter combo kit. It comes with the mag strike, tinder, and the bellows. So here is your ferro rod, the striker. This one clips together, we're gonna check that out. You've got these five bundles of cedar tinder that are coated, I believe, in a paraffin wax. And then, of course, you've got your retractable bellow, or it's basically a straw. So you get everything in one bundle. Here you go. This one, it slides in, clips together, and then there you go. On this piece, you can see the edges are sharp, and that's what you're gonna do. There, you see the sparks? Okay, so that works really well 
we'll put that together nice little pocket size kit okay next you've got your little straw or the bellows it comes in this little protective tube that's good that'll keep it nice and clean and when you extend that it's pretty close to the same size as the piece of my bamboo okay the nice thing with this is because it tapers down to this little point at the end when you blow in this that is a lot of concentrated air that is coming out like a jet stream and you don't have to get your face as close to the fire you can really feed a lot of oxygen and hopefully get your fire going okay there you go I've never used these actually that's not true I have used these before you see them pretty common with people that have um, wood burning stove in their house because you can light one of these put it in put your wood on so you can buy these in boxes of 25 50 100 whatever the case may be if that's something common then you already know about this so there is your little bundle of cedar okay what we're gonna do is light one of these strands I want to see just want to see how well one of these strands it's quite brittle actually let's see how there we go that goes up right away that's where you come with the kit and then it gives you uh, some instructions at the bottom if you've never used this before and uh, we're about to try it out fire bundle what I want to know is it says that it's water resistant okay well let's see what happens when we drop this into the water obviously it floats because it's coated in the wax and the water just drips right off of here so we're gonna use this one and see if it still lights up now I've already gone ahead and cut up some little kindling pieces one thing I did notice about this particular kit is that it doesn't come in a, a tin or a bag or anything it just comes in this the the packaging the box that it comes with and of course I'm not gonna bring this with me so um, maybe a little bag like this I do recommend if you're gonna have one of these fire starter kits cut up a couple of pieces of really dry kindling I can throw this into a little bag like this take the rest of my pieces the ferro rod the bellows my little bag of the little uh, paraffin wax coated cedar bundles and then I've got everything in a little kit like this and that's easy enough to toss into my backpack let's get out our ferro rod we'll have the bellows on standby and let's see how well this actually works oh there's one little tinder there okay there we go finally got her started Now I don't want to smother it. You can see how much air you can generate with this little straw. You don't want to give it too much because I could easily blow that out. So there we go. There's the bellows. Collapse that. Put it in our, our little homemade kit. We've got a fire going. It took several strikes of the uh, ferro rod 
for one of them to catch um, but you just got to keep going but it works so nice little bundle of the, the fire starter a ferro rod and a little telescoping straw basically is what it is and now we have fire thanks for watching this video I hope that was helpful so not too bad for you know 25 to 30 dollars you can get yourself one of these fire starter kits it does work I did soak the little tinder bundle and I did soak the ferro rod it still works so keep that in mind if you're heading out even if you're going for a hike for the day you could get lost you might need to start a fire for survival you don't have to get the entire kit but if you're looking for even just to get started get yourself something like this it's called a ferro rod and um, typically they come with a striker this one I got with my little mini camp stove this one is made by Uberlieben this one's made by Zippo I believe that you can buy just this ferro rod you don't have to get the entire kit from from Zippo so you know in case of emergency something happens um, this could save your life there you go thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video and of course I will see you on the next adventure bye oh that feels nice watch this All right. Cool. See you in the next adventure. Bye.